I'm Pam Carr from Caraway Crochet and today's tutorial is how to make these beautiful leg warmers. So I'm going to be making a medium sized leg warmer and um, they are just beautiful. So I'll tell you all about the yarns and supplies you need and how to make these gorgeous beginner friendly leg warmers in this tutorial for you today. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you would like notifications of any new videos coming out. Thank you so much for being here So today. here's what you're going to need to make your leg warmers. I've got myself an eye hook here, which is a 5.5 millimeter, and that's for the ribbing on the bottom and the top. If you want to skip the ribbing and just do all the double crochet, um, as a real beginner, you're welcome to just cast on as much as we do at the beginning using your J hook because this is what the body of the leg warmers are going to be made with. A J hook is a six millimeter hook. Okay, so if you're a real beginner and you don't want to do the front post double crochet, back post double crochet, ribbing at the ends, just start out with your J hook and crochet the thir the the amount of stitches I say to crochet and keep going as the rest of the video tells you to do. I've got some scissors and I've got a yarn needle. And what I used was this Cinnamon Swirl Cakes, which because it had such a nice color combo to it, and it was called Honey Bun. But you don't need to buy a great big cake. This is gonna make, um, you know, you're gonna have a lot of yarn left over if you use this kind of a cake. But I've got other projects that I can work with. But I'm making a medium in this tutorial, and you, it's around 568 yards you're gonna need. I do have a pattern for the extra small, the small, and the large. It's a free pattern on my blog, and um, I will put a link below for that. Okay, so yes, you're going to need some four-weight worsted weight yarn, a J-hook, and an I-hook, which is the 5.5, and a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. Okay, so here we go. So this is how the leg warmers look with this nice stretchy ribbing at the bottom and at the top okay so how we're going to make that is doing front post double crochets back post double crochets and if you're not comfortable with doing those you can just work the 35 chains and then double crochet as the pattern dictates okay so i'm going to show you how we're going to make it with the front post double crochets and the back post double crochets so we need to make our slip knot and i like to pop my little there we go. That's the slip knot. And then I'm going to chain 35. I've got my 5.5 millimeter eye hook here. Okay, use the smaller hook to make the ribbing. So we chain one, yarn over, pull it through, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to carry on until I've got 35 chains. Okay, I'll meet you but when I have 30. So here I am with my 35 chains, and as I said, this is for the medium um, size leg warmers. So what I'm going to do, I should show you, is run my thumb and finger all the way down so the V's are all pointing upwards. See that? The V's are all pointing upwards. And when I get to the last one here, I'm going to take my hook and I'm pop it into the first of the chains. Put my yarn over. Don't let that tail get in the way. And put the yarn over and pull it through and then pull it through. That's called a slip stitch, okay? And now we're going to chain two. And then what we're going to do for the first row to set us ourselves up for the um, the ribbing is we're just going to double crochet into each stitch around. So to put your yarn over, go into the first chain, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next chain, Yarn over and pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. So we're going to do double crochet all the way around our chain, and I'll meet you at the end. All right, so I'm at the end, and I have one more double crochet to do into this last little space here before the chain three that we did at the beginning. And now we are going to 
slip stitch into the very top there. All right, pull it through, chain two, and we can count our stitches. If you like, I'm going to take mine out. This is um, where we started, so we'll, 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 this is, you can see where the chain was there, so we'll count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four, five. Okay, so we've got thirty-five stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start our ribbing. So we've made the chain three and what we're going to do is we're going to go into that um, double crochet that's directly below us where our chain three is, the one directly below us. We're going to yarn over and we are going to go in behind that double crochet. Okay, we stick. So this is why it's called a front post double crochet because we've got well, the, the, the double crochet is in front, okay? So we're going to now yarn over and pull it right through there. Yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. And now we're going to go into the back, from the back, we're going to go behind it, right? And get that double crochet behind us. So that's a back post double crochet. Yarn over and pull it through that double crochet. Yarn over, pull it through two, and yarn over, pull it through two. And now we'll see how there, this one's in the front, and this one's sitting back a bit. So we're gonna put our yarn over, and we're gonna go and keep our double crochet in front of the hook. We're putting our hook in behind, yarn over, and pull it through that double crochet, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. You can always pause the video if you need to slow-mo version of this, right? Yarn over. Now we're going to make our double crochet go into the back. So we're pushing our hook in the hole from the back and out the other side. So the double crochet is in the back. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. All right, now we're going to go to our next front one. Okay, so yarn over. Always put your yarn over first. Push it in from the front to the back and pull it up on the other side of your double crochet. This is called a post, okay? Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. And we'll do one more of the back posts, okay? So the yarn over. This time we're gonna put our hook in from the back and then put it down the other side so that our, our post is at the back. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. So we're gonna carry on all the way around until we get to the end, okay? Okay, so here we are. So now we're gonna do our, here we are at the end, sorry. And I am going to do my last one and it's gonna be a front post double crochet like this. And then we're just gonna attach it to the top of the previous chain two with a slip stitch, okay? So now we're gonna work one more row, okay? So we're gonna, chain two and then where these two are here we're going to go into this one yarn over into this one pull it through that's our first front post double crochet from that row then yarn over and go in from the back and pull it through and that's our second that's a back post double crochet and now we're going to go a front one. So where we're going to go, you see how this one is the back and the back is on top of the back. We're going to do the front post on top of this front post. So we go into that front post. It's already been pushed out and do our double crochet. Now you can see there's an up and a down, up and down, up and down. Oh, that's creating the ribbing. So what we're wanting to do now is we want to make sure that we go into this post from the row below. So yarn over, go in from behind, over top of that double crochet from the previous row, and there we go. We've got another back post. And you see how they're traveling up the back. Now we're going to do a front one. So we want, we don't want to go in there, we want to go in this top one right here. 
yarn over, pull it through. That's a front post double crochet. Now we're going to do another back post double crochet. And we have to do this all the way around, alternating. Sometimes this little back post kind of gets hidden. So if you pull it, you can really see there, that's a whole double crochet, right? So we're going to yarn over and come in from the back, go over top of that little one that wants to disappear on us, and do a double crochet. Yarn over, go into the front. The fronts are easier to see, the top ones. Okay. Then here we go. Where's that double crochet gone? There. It's right there. Yarn over, go in from behind, down and, and keep it behind you, and there we go. So we're going to go all the way around. This is just the only second row, and this is all we need to do before we get onto the double crochet and change to our bigger hook. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Here I am at the end. I just did a back post double crochet, and you can see here, this is where we chained up and started to do our front post double crochet there. So what I'm going to do, is put the yarn over, do the front post double crochet here. That's our last one. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into what was a back loop double, a back um, post double crochet. So there, going to the top of there. And we're going to chain two because this is where we start to, and we can change our hook over to the J hook, which is a six millimeter hook. Now, as I said, if you don't want to do this part, you can just crochet the 35, um, join them in a loop like I did at the beginning and just do the double crochets all the way around. Okay, but I kind of like this as a, especially for leg warmers, it kind of hugs you around the ankle or hugs you around the top of your calf. Okay, so um, this is where we get started on our double crochet. So I've chained, I think I chained two, and I'm going to start doing my um, double crochets. I'm not, I better show you where I'm going. I'm not going right into here, into where I chain the two. I'm going to start here, okay? And do a double crochet in each stitch. So you can see at the top, there's a little gap there. Yarn over, go into there to do your double crochet. I love the colors in this yarn. So we're going to double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you at the end, okay? So I've done 33. Here's 34 double crochets. And here's 35. Okay, now I'm going to join to the top of that first double crochet there and pull the yarn through. And now I'm going to chain two. Now you can chain two or you can chain three, okay? Now there's a couple of ways you can go with your crochet and I'll show you on my first one, okay? Um, when you're going up, you often get a seam showing. Where is it showing here? Okay, so here I, first of all, started doing it where I didn't go into the first stitch. Um, I went into the second, and you can see that it's sort of a slanting seam. And then I tried the, the, the technique that I use when I make my shorts, which is to have a straight seam so it doesn't slope. And that involves crocheting into the first one and then not into that last little stitch. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one, okay? There's there's uh, two ways you can start, but I think this looks nicer, especially for a leg warmer. You don't want that slant. You want a straight seam there, okay? So what we're gonna do here is, normally you would be, it would be suggested that you don't go into here, that you go into this stitch. And that's what creates the slant because then when you get round, you go in, into the very, very last stitch there. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go into this one. We're going to yarn over and we're going to, I mean, we are going to go into this one. <laughs> we are uh, yarn over and we're going to go right into that first stitch there. Okay. And we're going to go 35 around one, Two. I won't go, I'll, I'll go into each stitch, but I'll meet you back when I'm getting to the end. So I'll show you what we're going to do. This is the trick. Okay, so here we go, 33. 
34. And let's just check, okay, how many we've got. So that's our chain. Then we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So our 35 is going to go in here. And you see we're not going into that final little stitch there. And when you started it the, uh, the other way, that's where you would be finishing. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top of that double crochet there, right into the top. We're going to chain two. And once again, where that hole is, right at the base of the chain two, or you could chain three. I think in my pattern I've written chain three. You, you can yarn over and go right into that one. And then when you get to the end of with your 35, you're going to go into the top to slip stitch and join. So we're going to do um, a lot of rows before we get up to the top. Okay. So this is our row four, the first row of all double crochet that you can see because we did a row of double crochet and then we did two rows of front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So that's three, one, two, three. So this is row four. We've just done row five and I want you to do all the way up to row 23 in this double crochet, okay? And this is going to be leading us up to the top where we're then going to be able to do our ribbing at the top. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of row 23. Remember, this one is row 4. This row is row 5. Okay, so here we are. This is row 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And I'm just at the end of row 23 here. So I'm just going to put my thing in there, do my last stitch, double crochet, and then join it. There we go. Now we're going to chain up to, so now we're going to start the last two rows of the front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So we're going to start out, we've got these two here right at the beginning, right? So we're going to go into this one first, the one that's right underneath with a front post double crochet. Then we're going to go into the second one, wrap the yarn around, go in from the back and down with your back, with your post on the back of your hook and complete your double crochet. Yarn over, go into from the front now, this is a front post, double crochet, and then yarn over and go in from the back, the back post, double crochet. And just to remind you what this looks like. Okay, we haven't changed our hook, we, we've stayed with um, the larger hook, the J hook, because this is going to be the top of your leg warmer and you want it to be a little bit bigger because your calf gets bigger as it goes up towards the knee. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around here doing the front post and the back post double crochets alternating to create a nice little ribbed edge on the top. And like I said, if you're going to be a person that's chosen not to do this ribbing, you can just do another two or three rows of your double crochet and fa fasten it off there. Okay, I just like the idea of having this bit of ribbing on the end. But there's always that beginner option. Here we are around the end of this row. I've just done a front post. Now I'm going to do a back post going in. That's a back post double crochet. And we're at the back where we started and we're just going to slip stitch into that beginning there and chain two and then we're going to what we've got here because we've chained two we've always end up with the the front post and the chain two sort of beside one another so sometimes you just don't know what to do with that right because it's created an extra stitch because you've got that chain two and we've not been counting that as one of our stitches so to get rid of that we can just go through those two together right 
When I first started doing these, I wondered how to do this when I was doing the brim of the hat. Because you see here, we've got this extra chain. So now we're just going to go and do, you can see that this is the front, this is the back, this is the front, and then down to the back, up to the front, down to the back. So now we're going to go around into this back loop, back post double crochet. And then we'll go into the next, which is the front. And then we'll go into the back. Remember the back one is always hiding down there. So we'll go in from the back. That's the back loop. Back, not back loop, back posts, okay? Front post double crochet, back post double crochet. All the way around, okay? And I'll see you at the end. Here we are at the end. We've just done a front post. Now we're going to do a back post into this last one here. And then we're going to join it to the top of the front post with a slip stitch. Okay? And that's our two rows of ribbing that we've got there. Okay, so we're going to cut that yarn. And pull it through to fasten it off. And then I'm going to get my yarn needle and weave in the ends. It's going to be tricky because we're going to have the color changing on us here. We don't want that showing up in our thing, so I think we can get one more going up in and out with this color before the pink starts to show. Oh yeah, and maybe even one more, which is perfect, because we really like to go three different directions if we can, right? Ta-da! And we can cut that off. Just beat it. Just beat the pink. That was really lucky. Got dull scissors here, okay? So that's that end with our, our, our edging. And you can see this, the seam is pretty straight. There's a little bit of a tilt to it. And here's our other end. We've got to weave in that end. Thread the yarn needle. So I'm going to go straight down the front post, double crochet, and then go up again through that same stitch. And then I'm going to go down, and fasten that off. And there we go. Now we've got our Leg warmers. I'm gonna bring the cow um bring up the camera so you get there a better. Go. This like I said, these are the medium leg warmers and they are for a 14 inch um they are they the actual finished size is 14 inches around and 15 inches long. So they look really cute. I'm really happy with these leg warmers. I hope you enjoy them, and as I said, you can just, instead of doing these um, front post double crochet, back post double crochet alternating for the rib, you can just make it all in double crochet. Just add an extra double, couple of double crochet rows on the end. But I think they're beautiful, and I hope you really enjoy these leg warmers. I'm going to add some pictures at the end, and please do subscribe to my channel and hit the likes if you like this video. And also click on the bell if you want notifications of any upcoming videos. Thank you so much.